Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on Windows 7 and customising or changing the background colour. Now this can be particularly useful for those pupils who experience uh, Erlen syndrome or scotopic light sensitivity and find it difficult having the, the white background with the black text. So I'm just right clicking on a Windows 7 on this desktop but you can also get into the uh, control panel by going the, to start and control panel and you're looking for the personalization icon or the personalization item which is here. So when you select that you can see there's lots of different options. You have your Windows Aero themes, um, there's the high contrast themes, you can even create your own themes and this essentially changes the visuals and sounds on your computer. There's also um, just some more of the uh, Windows themes but there's also the high contrast themes so just by selecting these you can have a high contrast blue on yellow, uh, light blue on green, uh, white on black and black on white and there's even the Windows Classic for if you prefer the old sort of Windows 95 or even XP uh, appearance that you want. So first of all I'm going to go into Windows Color just at the bottom here. So these are the preset colors that are within Windows 7. Some nice color options there so if you prefer uh, a different color you can, you can choose that. So I've chosen that colour but you notice that the background hasn't changed, it's just the actual um, borders that have changed. So the reason for that is, let's just um, bring that up again, okay, the reason for that is if we go into the back into the Windows colour, it just changes the colour of your Windows borders and the start menu and the taskbar, so it's not actually changing the background colours which is we want. To do that you just have to dig a bit deeper and go into advanced appearance settings. So it's hidden away, it's not very obvious, in case you've got to go and find it. So once you select that you can see the dialog box opens and you might be again familiar with this from Windows XP or earlier versions of Windows. Um, and as I clicking on these different items, active window, normal, each of these are active. So as I click on the corresponding box in the item below will change as well. So I've got window text, I've clicked on window text, that's become active and I want to change to any colour really but I'm going to go for a, a yellow, that preset yellow was just a bit too bright for me. And I'm going to select the colours, I've already got one that I've added to custom colours but I'm going to just show you how to do it. So select the colour and use the slider bar until you find the colour that you want. Then you can add that to custom colours. I've already done so, so I'm just going to click OK. So that's looking a bit better. Remember, again, it's any colour that you want, so click Apply, then OK, and then finally, Save Changes. And that's, you can see, the background colour has now changed. So if I now go uh, through to, see, for example, Microsoft Word, and I want the colour to follow through in other applications, then it does so in Word as well. So if you need those colour background changes within Windows, the desktop, and you need to change your environment to make it a bit more clear, then that's the way to do it. So let's just go back and if you want to change the colours again then it's simply just by, by going back into the window colour option. So click on window colour, it's just reversing the procedure that we've just done. Into the advanced appearance settings, just bring that dialog box in. Click on window text and then into the window item and just select white. Then apply and OK and save changes. And there you have it, back to exactly as it was before. So thanks for watching this uh, tutorial, and there'll be uh, many more uh, on it on the way. Okay, so that's thanks very much.